like I said, they're one of these. It's like an eighth of an inch, so you gotta. So right now, it's just flush with the uh, bottom, so there's nothing for it to catch on to. So you gotta go. Uh, gotta go one higher. Get back here. This is gonna work out pretty nice. This is this is solid. This um, I'm gonna work with that. This is solid. You know what? I don't know. I, you know, I don't even really need to mess with that. I probably will. Oh, I know. Uh, the guy that built uh his pedal board using pretty much the same stuff that I'm using here he put some feet on the bottom because he said that it was moving around so that's something I may have to do but uh... I don't know, I'll, I'll see first if it moves around, if it starts moving around then I'll put some more of feet on there Actually, I probably should put them uh, horizontal instead of putting it vertical like that. I mean, it's not going anywhere, that's for sure. But, uh, see, you learn something. This is why you're watching this video. So, if you do it, you know uh, the right way of doing it. You don't have to go through trial and error. Now, this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut out a hole, but this time I'm going to go vertical or horizontal. I'm sorry. And see if that, I think that'll work better. Because it's kind of like, I mean, it's not going anywhere. There ain't no way this thing is going anywhere. But this stuff does work good, though. I mean, I can pick up the uh, whole pedal board. Alright. So let me, uh,. You know what, let me do the Mission 6. This one, I may have to, it looks like I'm going to have to take the, uh, the feet off of this one. Same thing with the Helix. If you look on here, you got a little screw. You just got to take the screw out and then the, uh, the rubber foot comes off. So uh, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to, uh, this time I'm going to go uh, horizontal. I'm going to go across this way. And maybe even one in the middle. This way I'll have like three strips going horizontally across. Alright, here we go. Alright, about to do the mission pedal. I uh, figured out easier way of doing this too. With the uh, slap, snap locks here. If you uh, just put them together while it's on the roll. And just kind of uh, measure out the length that you want. A little harder to cut it because well, it's a little thicker, but it'll work. And, uh, and just make sure you got it snapped in real good. And uh, I'm going to do this one here and then uh, I'll do the other pedals. I'm not going to record that. There's no point in that. It's pretty, pretty self explanatory. Unless I run into a problem. I don't think I run into a problem, but if I do, I'll let you know. So the, mi the mission pedal, the Line 6 uh, expression pedal, they have these uh, 
these feet that go here you have to take off they're a lot better than the helix ones the helix they're like really small and thin so if you ever take this out or if I ever take it out yeah, I'm gonna put those feet back on here because they look they look a little better and of course I got to double up on this oh, yeah 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 uh, hold on all right I'm getting there I don't have much time left and I'm kind of rushing now so I'm, I really like to get most of this done but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to get the whole thing done All right. Yeah, this is definitely a lot easier than the old way of doing it. I think it's not only going to be easier, but I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be better. He's a uh, snap locks it's trying to be pretty good all right here we go uh then tighten the screws all the way down you dummy you big dummy? Or I'm thinking maybe, possibly. Well, see what happens is these little these little feet they act almost as a as a gasket almost, and it creates a little space between the screw and the base, and it keeps it nice and tight. Cause I'm pretty sure I had them screwed in pretty good, but uh, so I may end up having to put the feet back on them. And, uh, you know what, I'm thinking maybe I can put the smaller feet on there. Because that's really all I need to do is just keep that plate from moving around. Not that it's going to hurt anything. But, uh, but as far as it moving and going anywhere, it's definitely not going anywhere. So I'm going to have to take that off. Actually, you know what, let me, let me do it now since, uh, There we go. You see what happens is like when you take it off, you know, you got like, uh, oh, actually, you know what, I'm looking at this damn thing and I didn't, uh, this is what happens when you rush. Yeah, see, it still might move, though. In fact, you know what? It is going to move. So let me try the smaller feet. The ones that were on the helix. As long as the head of the screw is big enough, I think this will work. I don't even have to put on my four. I can probably just get away with two. Yeah, this is definitely going to work. Famous last words. It's definitely going to work.
It's going to be different this time. Another famous last word. Alright, so if you got a mission pedal on the helix and you got the feet, you might want to switch them out. Alright, here we go. There you go. Did you hear that snap? That's what you want to hear, and that's good. the camera again all right so that's how that works I got a few little things I got to change this I mean it's not going anywhere that's fine this is fine he looks fine still have to do something with that and maybe I don't know it's really not that it's not something that I use a lot, number one, because uh, the Helix has uh, quite a few distortions in there. Um, to be honest with you, I probably don't even need it. I mean, but it was 49 bucks. That's a good sounding uh, analog distortion pedal, so, so I bought it. All right, guys. I got to get running, so I'm not going to be able to complete this whole thing. What I'm going to do, then, um, I'll have this already done. I've already shown how I did that. Uh, then I'll, I'll make the, uh, you know what, I'll show you how to do the instrument cable thing and uh, some cable management. And uh, and that's, that's about it for now. All right, thanks for watching.